There is Louis. He's just had his groom for the last time with his current groomer. It was very sad, wasn't it, to say goodbye to her? Yes, it was. You're such a pretty boy. Yes, you are. My prince. Yes, so Louis had his last groom. He was so sad. <clears throat> But uh, she said that she has spoken now to my new groomer because they know each other. You might remember I told you and she told her exactly what Louis is like and what he likes, what he doesn't like. So we feel much better about it. Right, uh, my back is much better. I am going tomorrow for my treatment again. And I think I should be fine. So I'm um, again I'm not going to the gym this week. So I've had I would have had like two weeks rest and then obviously we will be careful and I'm not touching this blinking, not doing any more kettlebell swings. A lot of you told me in um in comments under that video that you've had that or know of someone who injured themselves with um with this type of exercise so I'm not doing that anymore although I quite enjoy it I really like doing kettlebell swings but hey ho right I think today I am going to do nothing it's a horrible miserable rainy day I just feel like grab myself up in blanket and watch Netflix how oh, have you been watching um, what is it called it's the golden era, golden age. It's sort of American equivalent to Downton Abbey. I'm really enjoying that. That's not actually on Netflix. That's on our regular TV. Um, but I am really enjoying that. I love any costume dramas. My hair is looking terrible. But I didn't want to wash it because I'm not going anywhere, obviously. And it's raining i will wash it tonight friend my lovelies i will see you later good morning my lovelies i am sitting on the floor with all my lipsticks lip liners and glosses so i've decided that i need to sort it out and i don't really want to because i probably won't throw anything out in fact i thought I think I did some lipstick sort out a while ago and I thought I had more lipsticks that I do. I think my problem is because I keep them in drawers like this for example these are my um, all my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and then I have all these but because they sit deep in the drawers when I open them I can't really see them so that's why probably I don't use them uh, much so I will look through them and maybe I should have them out but that is a lot of space on my vanity to have them out I've seen people having those like spinning lipstick towers maybe I should get one of those I don't know but my problem is with the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks they are so old the only new one is the Kim KW I've repurchased that because I use that the most that's like one of my favorite nude lipsticks but the rest I hardly ever use and I must have had them for at least three years so I don't know if that's well past day sell by date <laughs> so let's have a look what i've got i think i will need glasses for this right so love liberty i hardly ever use this one but it is a nice lipstick pillow talk 
pillow talk then bitch perfect not bitch beach <laughs> is it beach no it's bitch <laughs> i love charlotte charlotte's lipsticks they seem to the shade seem to suit all the shades seem to suit me even the more peachy ones and you know i don't like peachy ones but i don't know what she does the the tones of her lipsticks are so good velvet underground i love this one velvet underground and some of them are the kissing and some of them are the comfort mat electric poppy you know how much i love this one electric poppy i can't get rid of any of these no way coachella coral you see like i would never ever choose coral lipstick but that one is so gorgeous that's coachella coral then dance floor princess i use a lot i don't even have to read because i now have it in those in that nice case dance floor princess this will be kim kw love that one that's kim kw and the last one in love with olivia i don't think i use this one much but it's beautiful too see how can i get rid of these i can't mind you that in love in olivia is a bit similar to pitch perfect maybe i could get i can't plus they just fit in this little lipstick holder so it will spoil my equilibrium if i get rid of any so yeah i'm definitely not getting rid of um, those and they still seem fine they don't smell funky i just think i need to have them out on my vanity so i can see them better Think i'm going to rearrange my vanity a bit now these lipsticks i'm definitely you see like these uh, bk beauty lipsticks i bought them all with the matching lip liners and they are lovely lipsticks they are such a good quality gorgeous lipsticks but i forget that i have them because they are all shoved in the back of the drawer so I did a video swatching them all um i might link it somewhere here so i'm definitely keeping these but what else i'm sure i've got something really old right what is this this is joie i've got a lot of those you know sort of balmy um shiny lipsticks do you know i can't even see with glasses the writing is so small it's poppy anyway it looks like this and it's one of these balmy so i use them a lot in the summer but i don't know really if i like that one i will put it on a maybe pile then i've got charlotte tilbury's crystal happiness and this is quite pointless because this is you know just one of those balms I even forgot I had it. Uh, let's put it here. What is this? Then I have Too Faced Playful Pink. And this is the from the Peach Collection. So that's again like a... Yeah, that's just a gloss. That's got no colour whatsoever. That can go what is this misting is this too faced as well i can see yes <laughs> there is a too faced on the inside 
oh this is this um oh i do like it this is like a topper lipstick it's so gorgeous look at it you see i forgot i have it right i'm keeping that now dior lip glow in i think i remember liking it there's no way i can see what that says 010 I can see not only the sticker is very pale the writing is very pale and the sticker is glittery so who's supposed to be able to see what that says but this is again one of these glowy um glowy nothing but it's nice right let's put it in a maybe pile okay this is Lancome shine goddess see i have lots of these shiny there it is shine goddess in 392 it's like a um, bright pink these are all like my summery things that i just throw on right this is Too Faced Lady Bold in Brave this is quite new I think I bought it but I don't think I like the colour actually it's nice <laughs> it's like a mauve beige nude it's very very saturated lipstick might have to keep that one there is my Natasha Denona Annie the Nude in Amarosa. That's actually a bit similar to that Brave. It's a bit darker. I like this one, so I can't get rid of this one. Right, now we get into some old ones. Marc Jacobs. I think Marc Jacobs cosmetics don't exist anymore. Because I was looking the other day and I couldn't find it and I saw some blog stuff that Marc Jacobs Beauty is no more I don't know if they rebranding it or if it's just gone but I used to love this colour this is the Le Marc lipstick in slow burn and it's a mini one but I know I really like it there it is I don't know, I probably don't need to keep it and it's very old. Okay, Revlon. Oh, this is the one that I've just shown you, that I've just bought. Again, one of these balmy ones. There it is. I love that one, so this is staying. Uh, there is the next Shout Loud desert rose that i've just shown you there it is then i have my delilah lipsticks which are gorgeous as well they all look so pretty okay so the first delilah lipstick is whisper which i love beautiful nude on a mauve side so it's not too warm then honesty that's another beautiful okay the next one is grace grace is beautiful too greys more of a pinky one and flirt oh, i like flirt too and flirt so i'm not getting rid of these the only problem with the delilah lipsticks they are so soft you have to just make sure you don't screw it all the way up because they will break so I'm definitely keeping those right 
this is Rouge Coco Chanel Cecile. I really like this one and you probably know I use this one quite a bit. This one's got sort of pearly finish. But you see when you look, I I obviously like these type of mauve shades and I have quite a lot of them. Oh, Clinique Pop Lipstick in Fab Pop. This is quite pink if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is really fun pop. I like this. <laughs> Obviously, I like them all. Uh, Lisa Eldridge, a Velvet Beauty. Oh my God, this lipstick is so beautiful as well. I have a lip gloss that goes with it. And this one is called Beauty. So there is the lip gloss. When you put them together, beautiful lip look. I think I might actually have lip liner that goes with it. I think I bought the whole thing, you know, like lip liner. There it is. Lip liner in Beauty. So here they are all, and this is gorgeous, juicy lip. So that's definitely staying. Okay, what's this? Oh, Kylie Jenner. I must have bought that in New York. Right, another mauve lipstick that looks like the rest of them. It's a nice formula. It looks very much like this one. So, I might get rid of that, it's quite old. Wonder Tool. Oh yes, I like these lipsticks, don't I? But, this one is like a dark brown. That was the must-have, I think it's called. Then, you know, that red one, Gimme Red. This is like my favourite, favourite red from Wonder Two, and then I have the kneaded nude which is very nice too but it looks like loads that I already have now what is this one art deco god I can't even remember having this one I don't know what number or name it is 20th that looks like a nude oh that is a nice nude hardly used now Ilamasca I already know what that is it's rose powder that used to be one of my very favorite nudes here but that looks very much like this does anybody remember what that was what was this color because they look almost identical but now i don't know oh it might have been one of the delilah ones yeah but it's nice then i have here gd this is very, not that well-known um, brand, GD, but I know I love this nude. <laughs> I've got nowhere to show you. Let's put it here. Here. But they are all the same, aren't they? But it's such a nice you can see I've used it quite a lot so I used to use it a lot Smashbox gosh Smashbox what is that pretty social oh that's another nude that looks exactly like all the other nudes I don't want to throw it away and then I have here I think this is Clinique. Oh, one. 
another nude that looks exactly like all the others but i really like it and then i have dose of colors blush another nude oh that one is nice too right i am going to break my arm trying to show show it to you can you see these four here they look all the same well slightly different okay wipe i can't be that ruthless i can't throw them away i know that on the lips some of them would not look any different to each other but they all are so beautiful and feel so good and then i have lip liners so i've got all these i got these stands with holes um on amazon and then i have all these and they all look the same <laughs> so i will really have to sort them out probably get rid of quite a few of those then i have glosses in here and in here for me glosses are very difficult to get rid of because you know i am a gloss person i love just throwing on a gloss and I think I have some liquid lipsticks here, just a few that I'll probably never use. Right, I'm not going to bore you with all that. I think I'm just going to do it off camera and see what I'm left with. Right, I really went for it. I've tidied up most of my drawers in the end. And I have my lipsticks out and my lip liners out but i don't like it it's too much stuff but otherwise i won't use it so let me show you okay so my lipsticks are here now that's all of them i have like odd ones somewhere in separate boxes that i take downstairs when i film obviously have all these brushes here my eye brushes are always here and my lip liners are here now i got rid of about 20 lip liners so these two things are now full i have tied it up here so here are all my concealers here like black and brown eyeliners here all my brow stuff and in here I have like mineral powders and setting powders. I also emptied a bit here. These plastic dividers that I have, I got them long time ago from it's this Japanese shop. I can't remember, but I haven't seen them since. But you can get similar stuff um, on Amazon just search for acrylic draw dividers so i have my bronzers here lots of blushes some pressed powder foundations highlighters then in here look i got rid of three of these holders because i had some glosses and other things in it in here i have all my foundations there is some more at the back and some more here and here i have mascaras and colored um colorful eyeliners and here just like miscellaneous stuff spoon for doing my eyeshadow now in here i have these are all eyeshadow palettes they fit in here i've got more eyeshadow palettes here and in here i have um like tinted moisturizers spfs fix plus then setting spray and in here i've got my glosses now 
I also have this box that I have bits in here um, that I get ready for when I'm filming and some stuff just sitting there. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm glad I did it. It makes me feel so much better. You know, when you get rid of a lot of stuff, you feel much better. Good morning, my lovelies. I am filming today. I'm on a roll. My back is so much better. I've had my second treatment. It was amazing. I just got told off that I have to carry on with stretching every single day, which I hate doing but I have to keep doing it. So my back feels absolutely fine now, as if nothing happened. So this week I'll be back in the gym. I bought a couple of gadgets on Amazon. So you know when I did that video um, to help you with the crease using a teaspoon? I saw on Amazon this contraption. You get three sets of these different sizes, different shapes. And obviously when you do this eye, you go like this, then you have to swap it to do this eye. And I thought, well, that's quite good because this is quite comfortable with a spoon. You have to hold it like this. And then on this eye like this, it's really uncomfortable. So I said, this would be much easier, but it's rubbish. I think it's rubbish because you get this, it will be fine if it was just like that. But then you have this rubbery, attachments and they are so so thick that it didn't work for me it was too much hassle and then you have to keep swapping them so i didn't like it if it was just that plastic one just in one shape like a spoon but with a handle down then i would be quite happy so that was useless what well, to me anyway but a good thing that I bought is this cosmetic um, bag. I have millions of them. I have a bit of obsession with that when I go away with all these bags. But I really like the shape of it. It doesn't look anything special. But the zip is sort of across the bag, not straight. So when you open it, look how much space it is in it. So... It looks a bit like this. So you should be able to stand like taller things. I don't know. Useless, pointless really, isn't it? But like I said, I've got a bit of an obsession with cosmetic bags, like I travel every week. Another thing I got is eyelid tape. So a lot of you asked me in a in a past if I have used eyelid tape for my hooded eyes. You know, it's this little tape that you put here, you push it in and it's supposed to open up your eye. Yes, I've used it years ago and I didn't get on with it. But they were almost like very thin silicone tapes and just didn't like it but I've noticed that they do now these ones and I got two medium and small very inexpensive on Amazon and these are not silicone these almost look like I don't know how to explain you know they have structure almost of bandage like crisscross fibers very very fine and tiny so they seem to be much thinner and I feel like you will be able to put makeup on it a bit better I haven't tried them yet but let me know if you want me to demonstrate it in one of the videos and see it, if it works right my lovelies I'm going to finish this vlog here I hope you enjoyed it especially the boring part of me sorting out my lipsticks have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.